Welcome back to Adobe Live, um, and good morning from San Francisco. Good morning. Um, my name is Ren. I'm going to be your host today, and today we have Victoria Pavlov. Thank you for having me. Who's an amazing illustrator and photographer. So over the next two days, we'll be focusing on digital illustration in Photoshop. Um, Victoria, what will be, you be working on today? Um, because Halloween is very close, I would like to start working on my Halloween art. And today I would like to, actually I would like to give you some options of what you would like me to work on. Yeah, we so. have two images and you will pick one. We will be yeah. working on today. We'll, we'll take some votes in a, in a little bit. Yeah. Um, so hello everyone. Hello Darina, uh, Pokihan, hey Val. Val is gonna be our mod in the chat today. Hi. Um, uh, Anothai, Anissa, Lucia, say hello. Where are you all from? I know we ask that every time, but really interested in knowing where you all are from. Um, and while that's happening, um, we have a full day today. So let's let's pull up that schedule and see what else is going on today. So this morning we had our uh, creative challenge with Claudie, and then we're going to be doing our drawing and painting illustration. Uh, right now and then after that we're gonna have our XD daily creative challenge with Andrea and then uh, XD design systems with Christine later on. It's looking good. So we've got folks from Thailand, Calgary, North Carolina, LA, Columbia, South Carolina, Prague, all over the world. Oh, yes. It's pretty amazing how many Hello, folks guys. everywhere uh, join in on Adobe Live. So thank you all for, for joining us. Um, and uh, to touch base on that creative challenge, um, our creative challenge for today is to build a collage using layers, masks, and color matching techniques that you learned in the uh, creative challenge this morning. Um, so you can grab that start file in the challenge tab on Behance. So this sounds like a fun creative challenge today. What would you do for your collage, Victoria? For my collage, um, usually depends of my uh, project, depends of my client preferences yeah, yeah. or my or my personal preferences if I'm working on my own project. What would you do for fun? For fun, uh, for fun, I sometimes uh, where I have time, I prefer to just to do something new. I prefer to challenge myself, yeah, yeah. what I never did before. Mm -hmm. And it's my favorite activity. Yeah, like yeah. Three, three time. Definitely. I think I would do like an autumn themed collage. Yes. And that sounds really nice right now. It's really rainy in San Francisco today. It so is. That sounds good. Like a little cozy collage yes. with coffee and <laughs> sweaters and all sorts of stuff. Coffee's so, always good. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to see what y'all do today. Um, we'll review your designs in about an hour and a half. Um, so start designing and sharing your uh, collages before then. Um, and also stick around uh, in half an hour. Uh, we'll be giving away a prize to one lucky person. I think that those are sticker mule stickers today. Um, so stick around for that. All you have to do is log in and stay active in the chat. Nice. Yeah, so uh, Victoria, before we jump in, um, I know everyone would love to hear a little bit about your background and look at some of your work. Um, so let's do that. Um, so on my screen, I have your portfolio up. Okay, um, let's take a look at some of your digital paintings here. So, uh, digital painting in Photoshop? Yeah, in Photoshop, in Photoshop. So um, let's take a look at some of these. I love this Iron Man one. This is really Big great. fan of superheroes. Yeah, you do a lot of fan art, right? Fan yes. It's fantastic. What was your process for Something like this. My process usually, I'm um, just starting um, with um, white uh, black canvas and uh, depends of my mood, mm -hmm. I'm uh, choosing uh, brushes. Usually I use always uh, only Kyle Webster's brushes. They're amazing. Yeah. And if Kyle, um, example, if Kyle released yesterday new package, I downloading it right away <laughs> and I'm trying. Kyle them. fan girl. Yes, yeah. I Aren't we am. all? Gosh, those Kyle yes. brushes are amazing. Kyle's brushes are, yeah, amazing. Yeah, so um, this portrait's really lovely as well. Thank you. Oh, and I think I see a Star Wars one as well. Yeah. We saw actually um, Star Wars in a movie theater, and I came back home I was very impressed, and I decided to create something. Yeah, those are great. And then we have a Wonder Woman. Yeah. You do all sorts of stuff. I, I think I notice 
Oh, you have some, some puppies in here as well, but you definitely focus on the figure a lot. And, yes. And characters. It's uh, our dog, Lisa, when she Aww. was a baby. She's so cute. <laughs> Three months old only. Aww. Adorable. Okay, that looks, looks good. Um, so you wanna jump into Photoshop now? Yes. Let's do that. I have opened Photoshop, guys, and today I would like to give you a choice what you would like me to work on. I have two choices for you. This is uh, Alien <laughs> number one, and another one is this beautiful witch. What a beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, guys, what do you like the most? Yeah, please vote in the chat. Would you rather have the witch or the alien? I think my preference, like since I saw it, has been the alien. I think that's pretty good, but the witch is good too. <laughs> there you go. We've got one vote for alien, and while we're voting, um, Beach. <laughs> uh, what a uh, tablet are you using right uh, now? Wacom. Wacom into us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Witch, 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 alien. Oh. It's like a 50-50 split right now. Yes. Um, I'm seeing more for Alien though. Yes. Okay, we're going. Okay. Let's. We're going for Alien. We go for we, Alien. We we might have time for the witch as well. Today. Yes, so. maybe. So guys, um, I have uh, my reference image open on my iPad. Um, by the end, I hope we will have something like this. And I downloaded uh, this beautiful alien from uh, <laughs> pixelsquid.com. It's plugin for Photoshop. You can go to pixelsquid.com and sign up and uh, download plugin to Photoshop, and you will have um, ready to use 3D objects. I'm using uh, their objects for my uh, design workflow, for my painting workflow, for anything I like. So I will be, I will try to paint something like this. Of course, guys, let's start. I have opened um, outline, a rough outline of this alien just to save our time. I um, used uh, Adobe Mobile application to outline this alien. I brought this alien to Photoshop, saved to my Creative Cloud library, and I'm ready to go. Uh, by default, right now, I have two layers. One layer is my sketch layer, and bottom layer is a simple white ground, white background layer. Uh, for my background layer, I can use my brush, um, brush I will be working with, or if you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, as I do, you can download for free uh, Adobe Paper Texture Pro, Pro plugin. And you have here all beautiful um, backgrounds you can use in your workflow. It's up to you. You can basically click on any uh, paper. Uh, it will be um, downloaded to your document. You can switch between uh, blend modes and you can paint it after all using the mixer brush tool. It's up to you. Or you can start with your uh, white background and use a uh, brush. It's that's, up to you. That's great. So it's called Paper Texture Pro? Yeah. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, it's free. That's fantastic. Yeah, I love them. I use um, the paper um, with my photography workflow, digital painting, or design workflow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. And now we have difficulties to choose between all amazing brushes we have. I have opened my um, brushes panel. And as you can see, guys, I have a lot of uh, brushes I downloaded from uh, Adobe website. All brushes are uh, Kyle Webster brushes. And if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, those brushes are free for you. So I will click on a brush, and as you can see, I have all my brushes organized by folders and subfolders. Now, Victoria, if uh, you don't have those brushes, how do you get those Kyle brushes? Uh, if you will go to um, click uh, on um, acc accordion icon on top of your brushes panel, and you will get uh, click on uh, get more brushes, you will be redirected to Adobe website where you can download all those uh, brushes there for so free. so many, and I think this is something that people forget about, that yes. you have access to hundreds of brushes from Kyle Webster. Uh, they're amazing. Yeah, all and of your Creative Cloud subscription. Exactly, free. And the best part, usually before Kyle Webster brushes, I always um, customized my brushes. With Kyle's brushes, I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. 
So I will click and I will expand my oil folders with my favorite oil brushes, Kyle's uh, oil brushes. Let's see what I will be using today. And first of all, I need to uh, choose a color. You can create uh, uh, your color using color wheel. Or you can create your custom color using Adobe Capture. Adobe Capture is free Adobe application, mobile application. Or if you have references image, uh, simply click on eyedropper tool and click on any image, um, uh, any color in your reference image and you're ready to go. So now I will um, zoom in my document and I will bring down size of my brush and I will start working. Now, while you're painting, um, Darina asks, uh, how long does it take for you to make a painting like the one uh, with the woman with the white walls? Uh, this image actually, um, I downloaded original image from Adobe Stock and I used the mixer brush tool to paint over and um, because uh, painting using the mixer brush tool same as you will uh, paint um, using traditional method of painting. Mm -hmm. Uh, time depends of uh, how many details you have in your um, image. This image took about probably 67 hours, not less. Okay, this is my oils. Water color. Do you have a favorite Kyle brush, Victoria? Yes, I have. I will show it to you. I have. Uh, my favorite uh, package from Kyle is Impressionism, uh, Impressionist brushes and watercolor brushes. Oh, those are beautiful. Yes. Yeah, they're my absolutely favorite. And mm -hmm. if I will click on Impressionist uh, brushes, you will see that I have all uh, brushes. And let's bring size down of my brush and we start working on my painting. First of all, yeah, I did m made mistake, guys. I'm sorry, let me undo and let me create a new empty layer below my sketch layer and now I will use uh, this brush just to apply uh, a very uh, first layer of my uh, color. I can increase size of my brush to make it faster and I don't care if I missed any uh, parts in my painting uh, without applying any color because um, I will blend all colors together later and guys, I would like to talk about differences between the mixer brush tool and the smudge tool because differences are huge and depends of your uh, workflow, de depends of your um, mm, customer preferences or your own preferences. You can choose between them two, those two brushes. So this is my base color. Just like that. Usually in my office, I have um, um, Wacom Cintiq and my old tools displayed on my um, iMac and uh, all space in my uh, Cintiq. Uh, I have a lot of space on my Cintiq just for my document, it's easier. So this is my base layer. Now I will change uh, color. I will use um, same uh, color but with a lighter shade. And without creating any extra layer, I will continue uh, applying few shades of different color, just like that. See a lot of conversation about X Files in the chat right now and other uh, alien shows. Oh yes. <laughs> Do you have a it, favorite? Yes. Show? My favorite show. It. X Files is pretty good. X Files, right? <laughs> Especially uh, old ones. Mm -hmm. I love old version the best. Admittedly, I haven't seen the newer episodes, and I know I probably should. It's. Uh, not as good as uh, old mm -hmm. X file X files, but not uh, better. Yeah, yeah. I would say like that. Uh, 
Claire Louise asked um, if this is a normal brush or the mixer brush, and this is a, uh, I guess what you consider a normal brush. This is one of Kyle Webster's brushes. It's a normal brush, yeah. a Kyle Webster brush, and if we will talk about the mixer brush tool, I will be using same, um, from same uh, family Kyle Webster's uh, brushes. Here, before Kyle Webster's brushes, I used only one the mixer brush tool brush, because we didn't have a lot of choices uh, with the latest release of Kyle's uh, brushes. We have a lot of different uh, choices with uh, the mixer brush tool. And you're painting all in one layer right now, right? Uh, right now, right, because mm -hmm. I will blend all colors together okay. later on. I see. But usually um, I have more than 200, 500 layers in my painting. Oh, wow. Yes. Again, everything depends on how many details I have. So this is base uh, layer. What I will do right now, I will switch. I will show you differences first. Let me duplicate this layer and I will show you differences between the smudge tool and the mixer brush tool. And I will zoom in my document. If I will switch to uh, the smudge tool, and again, I will be using uh, Kyle's brush. And I, I will start um, blending my colors. I can blend. I can also specify um, parameters in the options bar. Everything is up to you guys. But if you can see, when I use uh, the smudge tool, this tool is great for base layer. I can blend everything together without any difficulties. Everything will be blended as it's supposed to be. But uh, now I'm losing all details in my art. I cannot create any uh, texture. I cannot create any details using the smudge tool because the smudge tool is designed to blend um, colors. If I will switch, let me blend everything more just like this. Smudge tool. Let me make size of my brush bigger just like that if i will switch right now to the mixer brush tool again i'm using um, a kyle webster uh, brush and i would like to mix this part of my image using the mixer brush tool guys a look at this using the mixer brush tool i'm creating the texture I'm not just blending my colors, I'm creating texture, and this is important. Also, you can use the mixer brush tool as your um, uh, normal brush. If you will change options in your uh, options bar, you need just to click um, load the brush after uh, uh, each brush stroke and clean up the brush after each uh, brush stroke, and you will have your um, simple brush tool. If you will and check, if you will check only clean up the brush after each brush stroke, you will have the mixer brush tool. So you can blend all the uh, colors together. What a mixer brush tool does, mixer brush tool picking up color of out of your um, canvas, blending a col mixing colors with your um, foreground color and applying back to your canvas. And if you will uh, specify uh, parameters in the options bar, load, mix, flow, and um, wet, you will uh, specify opacity of your uh, mixer brush tool. You will specify how much colors you want um, mixer brush applied to your canvas and everything like that. So there are a lot of ways to adjust yes. the mixer brush to get different effects. A lot. Mixer brush tool is a very, very powerful tool. I love this tool. I'm using this tool um, pretty much uh, with everything, with my uh, painting from scratch uh, workflow or painting for photographers technique. So I can use my photo as a base layer and create something uh, very unique. Val asked a little while ago, like what, what tools you're using? And just to reiterate, you're using a Wacom Intuos yes, tablet? Yes, yes. On the road, I use this Wacom, yep. right? And Photoshop. Mm -hmm. In my painting workflow, in my entire workflow, um, photography, design, or 
art workflow, I use only Adobe product, Photoshop, mm -hmm. if we will talk about painting, or Adobe mobile application for painting on my iPad. So now, when I blend um, my all colors, um, blend it in a way I want, I can start applying more details uh, to my alien. So what I will do, I will create a new layer now. I will switch to my um, um, impressionist uh, paintbrush. Again, it's Kyle's brush. And I will pick another color, just like this. Let me zoom in and we will start shaping out our alien. Another question from uh, Taylor about your tablet. What size is the tablet you're using? That's a small, right? It, I do not remember. It's small. Uh, it's medium, I believe. Okay. It's medium. But I have small, I have medium, and doesn't matter what a tablet you will use, what size of your uh, tablet. Um, you will use everything will go, will be working perfectly fine i still have tablet i bought 11 years ago still use it nice yeah i have some of my those wacom tablets they never die never <laughs> they're, they're never. good forever like never when you work on uh, some uh, painting even if we have um uh, gray alien and we cannot see any other uh, colors, obvious colors, always try to bring not expected colors in your art because in that case you will bring completely different story, you will create completely different story because in real life we don't have object in the um, same colors. We have uh, all object reflects everything around them. So try to bring different colors, unexpected colors. I like that. You're starting to get a lot of depth uh, yes. in the eyes. Just, Hi, Rob. I see you. And uh, you also can bring down opacity of uh, your brush, but my personal preference is I would love I prefer to um, change opacity of my layer. So I will create a new layer. I will bring down opacity of my layer. And in that case, I can uh, apply same brush stroke without um, having overlapping effect. Just like this. And now I will uh, merge my two layers. I will switch to a mixer brush tool and I will blend everything together. Now oh, that really, really makes it pop. Really Thank adds a you. nice effect. A lot of folks are starting to talk about iPads as well, and uh, you also use an iPad in your workflow as yes. well. I use iPad and I love iPad. I love Apple Pencil. And I love Adobe mobile application, drawing application on iPad. Always use and always love it. For some reason. Okay, let's do this. Usually in my uh, painting, I prefer don't not using uh, black color. Mm -hmm. I prefer to use a darker shade of um, any other color because um, uh, you can add few uh, brush strokes of black color, but it's um, as uh, detail, less detail. If you will use all the time only black color to uh, create your uh, shadows or um, create a depth of field, it will not work because uh, shadows as usual reflect uh, subject color and everything around it as well. Just like this. Tarina says she's going to be practicing with the mixer brush soon, for sure. You will so, love it. Yeah. I want to practice with the mixer <laughs> brush now. Uh, in my um, 
photography uh, workflow when I example if I uh, took picture of um, um, my customer uh, I'm a portrait photographer and my customer wants me to paint it I use my uh, image my photo as a base layer and using um, the mix mixer brush tool I can create completely unique painting uh, using the mixer brush tool and usually my customers love it a lot Profil asks, how um, are you going to add lighting? Uh, lighting, uh, I'll, um, it's up to you. It depends of um, where you, your alien will be. Example, if I will create something um, dark behind uh, stars and uh, the moon behind my alien, definitely I will highlight. Example, let me create a new layer. I will bring light from uh, this side, so only this side will be highlighted and everything uh, on the other side will be in a darker shade. Depends on the light. You can have two lights, you can have three lights. Uh, everything depends on you guys. And also just a reminder, in less than two minutes, we're gonna have our chat and win, so definitely jump into the chat. Yes, guys, jump in. And you can create your art in a more realistic uh, or a less realistic way. Because mm -hmm. I'm a photographer, I prefer to have freedom in my painting. Because if I want to create something more uh, realistic, I will have my camera and I will take pictures uh, in more realistic way. Uh, because painting is something uh, special to me. It's uh, my soul and I prefer to express myself without any boxing. Uh, Darina asks, um, is it faster to work in colors on different layers or to paint in black and white first and then apply colors? Uh, Usually I use um, gray color mm -hmm. to um, my base layer and after that I'm applying colors. But because today I want to be in the fastest way, as fast as it's possible, I'm uh, using um, uh, different layers and I'm merging them. Usually I never merge my layers together unless I want to blend them. So, and <laughs> the best practice is to rename your layers and um, uh, create different uh, folders for your uh, layers and apply different color uh, labels to your layers. Because I can guarantee in a few minutes later, even you, right now you know all your layers, in a few minutes later you will forget about all your layers. And if you would like to change anything or add any details to some specific layers, you will need to spend more time yeah. to locate your layers. So I think it's time for one lucky chatter to win a prize. So jump into the chat. Um, let's see. Um, what is your favorite alien TV show or movie? Okay. I, it's gotta be X-Files for me or... Um, X-Files, right. There's an, what's the name of that M. Night Shyamalan movie? Uh, Signs? Signs. That's a good one, too. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen no, that. No, I never oh, it's, saw it. It's really good. Oh. Cornfields, Alien and Cornfields. <laughs> terrifying. Welcome back. So in a moment, our magical um, selection bot will, will figure out who's Yay! winning this. Um, I think we have 100 free 3x3 three three die cut stickers from Sticker Mule. Wow. That's a great prize, yeah. Great prize. And while we're waiting, um, just to let you know, we do know about that sound. It's driving us nuts, too. Um, we're working on, on fixing it. But please be aware we, we also notice that noise. 
And now that I mentioned it, it it's going <laughs> <Stop>. away. <Yeah. laughs> Doesn't like attention. Yes. They are this. Coming soon. All right, uh, Jan, Eric, Edvardsem. Hopefully, I didn't botch that name too badly. You win a hundred free three by three inch stickers from Sticker Mule. Congratulations! Super good. Yay! Um, and even if you didn't win, you still have the chance to go to stickermule.com slash adobelive19 and get, I think it's 10 stickers for a dollar, which wow. is a sweet deal. Get yeah. some stickers printed, pass them out to your friends, sell them. It's a great deal. I love using Sticker Mule myself for stickers. I make them all the time. That's cool. So congratulations again, Jan. Congratulations. And now, guys, I will continue working on my alien. I will um, apply a few more brush stroke, strokes to create a um, depth of field. And after that, I will merge my layers. Yes, I'm merging them. And I will blend them together. And we will continue applying some unexpected colors. Can we talk about tomorrow, what we will do tomorrow? Mm? Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can talk about it. Tomorrow, guys, um, we will do something uh, different. Tomorrow, we will talk about um, the Curvature Pen Tool. We will be using the Curvature Pen Tool to create a vector art from scratch in oh, Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. Yes. Also, we will talk about symmetry painting in Photoshop, and we will create mm -hmm. a very beautiful watercolor art using symmetry painting. Well, I am looking forward to that. Um, Me too. For those of you who haven't used the pen tool, that's another great uh, illustration yes. tool in Photoshop. Um, yes, it's a great tool. Yeah. A few days ago, I created some project. I basically I didn't sleep at night, and I decided to create something. Mm -hmm. And I love um, to experiment. And I was using the curvature pen tool to create some a car. And till now, people uh, still do not believe. They're asking if I really <laughs> created this car using only the curvature pen tool. And my answer is yes, I did. So it's not it's not just magic. The curvature pen tool does does do some amazing stuff. Yes, it's amazing tool. It's like magic. <laughs> yes. It's amazing tool and if you are a Photoshop user and you don't like to use Illustrator and you prefer to stay in a, only um, in Photoshop, this is a great tool. So now what I will do, I will blend all my colors together. I will uh, um, hide my um, all layers, my um, background layer and my sketch layer, and I will simply merge visible. Difference between a merge visible and flattened image. When you merge um, visible, all your uh, visible layers will be merged. If you will click on flattened image, Photoshop will ask you if you would like to delete uh, hidden layers. So, and now, now I will bring back my sketch layer and uh, my background layer, and I will switch to a smudge tool. I will bring size of my brush down, and I will um, change straight from a to probably 28, and uh, let's blend colors, just like that, not too much. So just you, around the, the edges. Yes. Move that out. You have full control over your image. You have full control over uh, any uh, tool in Photoshop. Photoshop team is amazing. They uh, gave us a full control over our, our um, tools. So just experiment. If you never used uh, some specific tool in Photoshop in your painting workflow, just try it. Try it now. And while we are uh, live, if you have any questions, we will be more than happy to answer. Absolutely. So if you have any questions, chat, please feel free to let me and Victoria know. Yeah. I think we have aliens in the walls. I think that's, that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> so what I will do now, um, continue blending 
my colors and I almost done. Let me see his head. I almost done. And now I will create a new layer and we will work on our highlights. I will use the same a brush tool and I will switch to unexpected color for now. Mm -hmm. I will use some kind of um, bright um, yellow color and I will bring down opacity of my layer. So uh, my yellow color will be not just screaming I'm here. It mm -hmm. will be somewhere. And I will start applying few highlights to my image. While you're doing that, um, Leo asked, uh, why do you prefer the smudge tool over the blend tool for when you, you're blending your edges? Um, because um, when I use a, a, a smudge tool, I have control over my uh, brush. I can specify options and everything. And uh, smudge tool blends colors uh, in the way I like. This is a, um, uh, one reason. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there were a couple of questions. I know Profil asked, um, where do you get the Adobe Color Themes color palette? How did you pull that out? If you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, it's free. If you will go to Window, Extensions, and Adobe Color Themes, you uh, click okay, on so it. It's an extension. Yeah, extension. And it's there. It's by default. Mm -hmm. If you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, if you will download your Adobe Photoshop, it will be there. And you can also save color themes. Yes. And uh, use uh, color.adobe.com to, yes. to search themes that, that other folks have made. It's mm -hmm. a really great tool. Save to your Creative Cloud library, and you can even share your library. Anything you like. I really love the yellow added in here. It contrasts really nicely against <laughs> Thank the, you. the purple blue tones. And again, guys, definitely we can do a better job. I just want to <laughs> finish this alien today. I'm a little bit in a faster um, mode, but. And here. And now what I will do, I will switch color to white. I will use same um, layer, maybe will bring down opacity a little bit more, just like that. And I will apply a few brush strokes with a white color, just like this. Taylor asks, um, do you usually stick to a single brush for your artwork or do you use a ton of different brushes? Um, I have my favorite brush I use all the time, but uh, with um, example, with particular this example, I will use different brushes because I will be working on um, his background and we will be creating uh, some stars and everything. And Kyle released very nice uh, special effects brushes and they will work perfectly in uh, my workflow. So I will be switching between different um, brushes. And um, Usually, I use between five and seven brushes per uh, painting. But I have my favorite. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who uh, draw and paint in Photoshop or any other app, how many brushes do you usually use in your illustrations? I was talking to Victoria earlier, and I'm someone that likes to use one or two brushes at a time, and usually I stick to them for all of my images. Yeah. But there are so many good ones to choose from. Oh, yes. I mean, it's hard to pick. It's hard. Sometimes I spend more time uh, picking my brushes. Mm -hmm. It was a Me difficult too. choice. Spe specifically with watercolor brushes. Mm -hmm. We have so many amazing watercolor brushes in Photoshop, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. What I will do now, again, I will um, merge my uh, layers, merge not visible, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I will merge it down. And I will switch to my mixer brush tool now because I want, uh, now I will start um, creating some texture. Mm -hmm. So I will stay away of um, the smudge tool. And I will blend my colors using uh, the mixer brush tool. And guys, if you notice, I still have um, my sketch as my top layer. And now what I will do, I will merge my um, sketch layer 
let me bring down opacity of my sketch layer and I will merge uh, this layer with my Elend layer, just like that. And now I will be using same the mixer brush tool and I will blend everything together. And because uh, mixer brush tool will create texture, everything will be easier. Look at this. And you can control how much you want to blend the color, the colors together. Um, you can um, specify uh, per stroke. You can make your brush bigger or a smaller. If your brush will be a bigger, um, have bigger size, you will create more abstract painting. If you will work with um, a brush with smaller size, you will create more detailed image. Mm. Keep this in mind. Do you uh, zoom in and out a lot when you're illustrating? Yes, yeah. a lot, all the time. On my uh, Wacom Cintiq, I specify my keys and my, basically my left hand always on my wheel, mm -hmm. adjusting zoom. And we're about uh, halfway through before um, we do our design feedback for the uh, daily challenge. So please get those submissions in in about 45 minutes so we can check them out. Oh, we have 45 minutes, so I will finish this early. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a little bit of time afterwards too. Good. So I have some time. This is a handsome, handsome fella. <laughs> do you all have any name suggestions for alien i don't but if yeah. uh, viewers will help yeah us. please if, if you have any name suggestions for our alien friend let yes. us know we can name him uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> and again guys you can blend colors um more or less depend of uh, your preferences Sarah says Bort. <laughs> I like Bort. <laughs> That's, we got Thor. Um, oh, Alexander asks, um, if you sketch the alien first, then work on Photoshop, or are you working as you go? Um, you sketched it out first before you started painting. If I'm uh, away from my computer, um, even if I'm in my office, I sometimes, very often, I prefer to use um, Adobe mobile applications such as um, Draw, um, Sketch, or Fresco mm -hmm. to create my sketch. And after that, I um, just uh, can bring my sketch to Photoshop and just start working on my painting from there. Or um, if you're new to painting, you can even trace your image. You can bring your image in Photoshop as um, example, um, my uh, Elend, I can create an empty layer on top of my Elend. I will bring down opacity of my Elend. I will use any brush tool um, I'm more comfortable with. I will trace out my uh, Elend and I will continue working on it. Also, guys, you can use Adobe Capture. Adobe Capture is, again, free Adobe mobile application. You can create any shape using uh, Adobe Capture. Save it to your Creative Cloud library and open it in Illustrator, or everything will be available, all layers, or you can open it in Photoshop and continue working on your project. You can also collect color palettes. Yes. You can find type in the wild, match it to Adobe fonts, and find yes. a font. It does a lot of You of can create stuff. brush. Yeah, so Adobe Capture is what it's called. So please download it, it's free in the App Store. Mm -hmm. Grab it, play with it. You can make brushes out of it. You can create even 3D material for yeah. Adobe Dimension. It's good stuff. Yeah, very good stuff. I use Adobe Capture all the time. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's great. I like making shapes and brushes yes. with it and using it in my illustrations. Brushes and um, oh, very easy to create uh, material for Dimension. Yeah. Super easy and super fun. So, uh, some more name suggestions are coming in. We got po Poka, I think. <laughs> uh, Mortimer. 
Zork, Dorak, Prometheus. Nice. Amash. I still like Bort. That's Bort? just hilarious to me. Yeah. Know. Mr. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> you guys are you're going crazy. Do you have any favorites so far? I love everything. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to choose. Yes. Uh, Lazarus. One I can't pronounce because it's all X's and Y's. I'm not even going to try. Also, you can create... Um, what is the name? In the capture, um, we have patterns. You can create patterns uh, from any image. You can save this pattern in Photoshop, uh, in library, Adobe Creative Cloud library. Open in Photoshop and apply this pattern to your art. Mm -hmm. And it will be unique. No one will have it. It will be only yours. And you can uh, have fun with it. Add some nice texture to yes. images as well. Um, Claire Louise says, uh, her son says the alien should be named Jeff. And oh. I actually kind of agree with that. I think we should go with Jeff. Okay. Jeff is his name. Okay. <laughs> Jeff the alien. <laughs> so what I will do now, I'm happy with my blending. It's not what I want, uh, but it's a um, great middle point. And I will start applying all um, details because all details are important. As you can see with the mixer brush tool, I can fix anything. I can fix any mistake I made, even uh, we never are making uh, mistakes. So it's just happy accidents, but I can fix anything I like using the same as the mixer brush tool. The mixer brush tool very close to um, the curvature pen tool because those two tools are very um, identical in independent way. Mm. They can create everything independently and you can use only one tool to create something very unique. So let's add a little bit now I will add a little bit black point. I will switch to my uh, brush tool. I will change color to black. I will bring down size of my brush and I will add a little more, more details just like this. And I have allergies today. I'm sorry guys because of the weather. Yeah, it's been kind of gross here. Yeah, the past couple of days. Just like this. And now you can see that uh, our uh, eyes, uh, alien eyes, are more uh, shaped out. And if we will have more time, we can add reflections to his eyes, reflection of a surrounding area. And now I will create a new empty layer, just like that. I will bring uh, opacity of this layer down and I will start working on his eyebrows, just like this. Uh, Profil asks, um, can you, uh, explain why you use the yellow color for the lighting? Um, because um, when I will start working on his background, we will have a lot of yellow colors and any object reflects everything around this object. And I will blend um, this uh, color more uh, later on, so it will be not so obvious. Mm -hmm. But you could use other colors as well. Probably. Yes, but in it uh, depends on you. Yeah. I see yellow color. Yeah, it's 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 definitely artist preference. I think. Yes. But especially like with these colors here, you're getting that complementary um, suggestion with the purple and the yellow. Thank you. Yeah, I will add purple more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
yes, likes it. Basically now I will uh, work on his details because we have a base, uh, base color and everything, uh, his skin tone um, in a way I like it. So I will add a little bit more uh, details. And again, guys, you can um, add less or more details. Everything is up to you. No rules in here. How do you decide when like to switch over to details versus um, you know you're pleased with the way the shadows look and you want to get into more details because I know like details are usually like the final third of you know making an image or do you go back and forth? I'm going back and forth, mm -hmm. but uh, because I love his um, skin texture as it mm -hmm. is right now, I want to add a little bit more details. I will start working on his background, mm -hmm. and after that I will uh, come back to uh, his um, skin, and I will add a little bit more highlights and more details. That makes sense. Um, basically now I am just uh, want to add a little bit more details. Nor says, imagine that there may be aliens out there painting humans. I would love to see it. <laughs> Alien paintings would I be amazing. I would love, yes. Probably they do. <laughs> in Photoshop, in, in <laughs> Alien Photoshop. Yes. Photoshop is amazing application. It is. Amazing. Doesn't matter how long you work with Photoshop, you always has more uh, have more room to learn mm -hmm. or discover something. Just a little bit more details around his neck, just like this. Oh yeah, uh, Tawana brought up that a bunch of people are supposed to storm Area Fifty One this week. I don't know if you heard about that. No. There were, <laughs> there were. It started as a joke, but there's plans for people are going to go into Area 51 and find the aliens. So. <gasps> yes, yes, yeah, I, I heard it. <laughs> They're going to oh. find them. It's going to happen. Okay, if they will find them, bring to Adobe Life. Yeah, we can paint them. Yes. Come on. We can paint them, we can take pictures of them, we can create collages and... Alien art. Yes, anything we That's like. what they're doing at Area 51 anyways. They're just, they're all painting. Yeah. That's what they've been doing. Let's do it. My daughter believes in aliens. Oh my God. She loves them. Aliens are great. And there's so many different kinds. We just, we're painting one right now, which is yeah. the grays. We have, I don't know a lot about my alien. We have reptilians. Do you know any more? I, there, there are a lot of different kinds. Yeah. It's like people, humans. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite alien, chat? It's this one. Just this one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah. I like them too. I have um, created a lot of aliens um, as 3D composition. I love them. They're so cute. A little bit more details. Jeff says the aliens paint in in photon shop, and that's that's a bad pun, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, there's a, there are a couple of other good ones in there too. Guys, uh, if you have any questions, just ask, because I know watching um, just painting, maybe it's a little bit boring, so we will answer yeah. to any of your any questions. Any questions? Although it's really fun watching you paint, Victoria. Thank you. So let's see what I would like to add more. 
And again, guys, if you like more realistic painting, you can um, bring size of your brush down and you can uh, continue working on your um, painting, uh, adding a lot of details. And it's up to you. And I always have questions, how do you know when you need to stop? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Sometimes, that's why I have layers. Sometimes I think I will add this or that, and I will go on and on. And after 10, 15 layers, I think, no, you know, I need to stop. Yeah, I think it's all up to artist preference. Yes. So what looks good. And personally, I love using reference images, but mm -hmm. if you prefer to paint from your imagination, that's great. What I will do, I will bring down opacity of my layer for highlights, just to make it more smooth. And I will apply a few brush strokes here. Just like this. And if you use Adobe Mobile application, such as Sketch example, you can start working on your project from anywhere. Uh, you can open your, send your project from Sketch to Photoshop or layers will be available for uh, modifications and you can continue working on your project. But if you um, start um, started from Adobe Illustrator Draw, uh, I will recommend to open your project in Illustrator and you can adjust your project in any way you like uh, in Illustrator. So Sketch for uh, Photoshop, and Illustrator for, um, Illustrator Draw for Illustrator. Mm -hmm. Sarah asks, um, how do you plan on cleaning up the area outside of the lines, if you do? Uh, I will use a mixer brush tool. Oh, okay. Mixer brush is good for everything. Yes, so <laughs> mixer brush tool is magical tool. Just a little bit more details. And now, guys, I will switch to his background. And we will be back to all Ellen's uh, details later on. So what I will do, I will uh, click on my uh, original background layer. I will add a new empty layer. I will switch to um, Kyle Webster watercolor brushes, just like this. I will switch to, let's see. No, I will close this. I will create from here. I will switch to another color, just like this, maybe a little bit darker. And I will apply a first layer of uh, his uh, background. Watercolor brushes in Photoshop Ooh. are amazing. Those are nice. They're just magical. And guys, I don't know if you noticed, I'm not changing a uh, specification or I'm not modifying my uh, brushes. Color brushes are so good. Uh, of course, if I have some specific project and I need to uh, some specific brush, I can modify and I do it, but not so often. Now, I will switch to another color. And I will continue working on my background. And if you notice, I don't need to apply any extra steps. Photoshop does the job. Photoshop blends all colors and everything. Look at this. That really makes Jeff pop. Yes. <laughs> and now I will add a little bit um, extra splashes of a brighter color just a little bit and because I'm not sure if I will like it I will create a new empty layer just like that and I will add a few splashes just like that oh, that's Be nice thank you and because I'm working on separate layer I can adjust my layer at mm -hmm. any 
time. So what I will do, I can change blend mode. And now we have a live blend mode. I can just um, uh, over uh, cover any blend mode uh, and I will see a live. Yeah, I love playing with blend modes. You can get a lot of different effects that yes. you would have never thought about initially. Yeah. Let's see, what do you like more? Okay, you know what? I will apply probably overlay and I will bring down opacity of this layer, just like that. And I will merge my two backgrounds layer, merge down. Now guys, I will click on my uh, original background layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to another watercolor, a brush. I will change the color of my brush, darker blue color. I will increase size of my brush just like that. And I will apply extra layer of color just like that. Now, when I'm happy with my background, I will merge my background layers together. I will create a new empty layer on top of my background layer. And I will switch to special effects brushes. We have a lot of special effect brushes here. Let's see what I would like to use. Let's see. What are the options? Oh, we have a lot of <laughs> so many. options. Example, if I will switch to watercolor brushes, mm -hmm. we have a lot of watercolor um, special effects brushes. Um, let's see. Okay, let's switch to this one. I will use um, probably um, any bright color. Guys, it's up to you. I will increase size of my brush just like that. Let's make it bigger, bigger, bigger. And let's see what I will have. Yes, in kind of splashes of stars or something mm -hmm. like this. And again, guys, because I'm using separate layer, I can bring down opacity of my layer. I can uh, modify my layer at any time. I love this uh, background. Um, again, guys, you can add as many details or, or less details. It's up to you. Let's switch to another watercolor brush with white color, special effect watercolor brushes. And I will try to add a few splashes just like that. It's too much. Let undo. Now we have multiple undos in Photoshop, mm -hmm. which is yeah. perfect. We have a few suggestions from the chat. Uh, Zencher says that he'd love to see Jeff with a mohawk. <laughs> if you want to add hair to him or... Uh, Profil also says um, like a small spaceship in the background. Maybe. We can do it. Yeah. Uh, we can add sp a spaceship in many different ways. And we will work with a mixer brush tool. First of all, we can add sp a spaceship using uh, our brush. We can start from scratch or we can go to Pixel Squid plugin and it's for, for some reason it not working. Pixel Squid plugin, guys, it's um, a plugin for Photoshop. It doesn't work for some reason because my internet connection probably. You can um, go to pixelsquid.com. You can download plugin for uh, Photoshop, designed specifically for Photoshop. As I mentioned before, you can download thousands and thousands already to go 3D subjects and you can bring it in Photoshop. You can modify them. You can rotate. You can adjust angle and it will be your uh, example spaceship. I cannot make it work for now. I don't know why. Probably I will need to, let's see. Uh, reload plugin, let's try to reload plugin. Yes. There we go, yeah. So I reloaded plugin and as you can see here, I have a lot of 3D objects. I downloaded from Pixel Squid and I th think somewhere I have a um, 3D spaceship. If I don't, I will go to my browser. 
There were a couple of questions about uh, if you were using a tablet or not, and yeah, Victoria is using a Wacom Intuos tablet yes. to draw with. All the time. I, I can't draw without uh, my tablet, but it's a long way. So let's see what I have. I have Photoshop. Yeah, and I'm supposed to have 3D space shape in here. If not, guys, um, I will work on it from my um, hotel and I will show to you tomorrow how you can mm. add it. Yeah. It's very easy. So let's bring it in here. And now, um, someone asked me how I will uh, clean up edges behind my um, alien. What I will do, my layers, So let me close my Pixel Script plugin. Let me close my libraries. So what I will do, I will merge all visible layers. Merge visible. I will duplicate my layer just to show to you before and after. I will zoom in my document. I will switch to the mixer brush tool. And in the options bar, I will specify that I would like to reload my brush after each brush stroke. So my brush stroke will be reloaded with a fresh color mm -hmm. after each brush stroke. Uh, I will, uh, from a uh, drop down um, presets menu, I will choose a custom. I will specify a wet, load, mix, and flow to 100% each. And now I will uh, fix everything just like this. And again, guys, you can um, uh, zoom in your document. I will undo my brush strokes because I don't like them now. Just like that. I will bring size of my brush down just like this. And I will start fixing everything around. And because Mixer Brush Tool works as a separate tool, you can fix, you can adjust your um, image just using the Mixer Brush Tool. And definitely I will paint um, my over my background as well. Just like yeah, that, that adds a really nice effect. And you get the that purple from the background as well. Thank you. Yeah. The skin. Because the mixer brush tool blends everything, and when uh, the mixer brush tool blends uh, colors, the mixer brush tool creates a texture. Mm -hmm. And I can continue just like that. So you can spend between um, one hour uh, to I don't know, 100 hours of painting. Depends of how busy your um, project is with all details. And now, guys, you can have fun. You can create your art uh, in any style you like. Uh, it's up to you. You can create completely um, painting in a Van Gogh style, or you can create a uh, painting in Leonardo da Vinci style. Everything is up to you. Just enjoy. Enjoy your creation. Enjoy your um, painting. Definitely. Yeah. It's no rules in here how your uh, painting is supposed to look. It's your uh, imagination. It's your soul. It's your vision. Very well said. <laughs> Thank you. And I will just go around my edges. And guys, I don't care if I have very rough um, transition between my alien and my background. I will blend everything later on. For, for now, I'm trying to blend my alien, edges of my alien, just like this. And you have um, different choices uh, with your uh, mixer brush tool. Uh, Kyle Webster has a lot of uh, different um, uh, mixer brush uh, brushes. Uh, 
definitely less than um, a normal brush, mm -hmm. but you have a lot of choices. You can have a lot of fun with the mixer brush too. And there's also less than 18 minutes now to get your uh, daily challenge submissions in for Victoria and I to review. So get those in so we can take a look at them. 18 minutes. We have a little time left, so mm -hmm. before I will continue blending his uh, edges, I would like to show to you what I will do with this uh, background. Mm -hmm. And again, you have many choices. You have, you can stay with uh, this background. You can just blend a little bit more uh, edges. Uh, how you can blend it? If you will switch back to the mixer brush tool, and in the options bar, you will bring a wet um, value to. Um, Eight, about 18, not more than 21. Same with load value, not more than 21. Mix and flow value, supposed to be not more than 50 each. And now you can create a better and smooth transition between uh, colors. So you can apply a few brush strokes like that to blend everything together, just like this. Or you can continue uh, working on your painting and um, cover entire background. In this way, you will have more um, abstract painting. You will have um, more um, loose uh, painting. It's up to you. I will definitely blend everything together like this. And I will make a uh, size of my brush bigger. And just like this. I will not have uh, time to do everything uh, from the studio today. I will finish in uh, my uh, hotel room and I will show to you tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Finalized. Thank you. And guys, if you don't have a lot of time um, on, um, you example you have only half hour to start and finish your project try to paint something with less details in that mm. case you will have time to finish it if you will have a more details obviously you need to spend more time keep it in mind that's good to know for client projects as well like maybe yes. you only have a day to get something done versus like yes. a week or a month absolutely and um <laughs> another um think uh, if you working uh, on your client project using the mixer brush tool uh, exam example uh, your client um, reached you uh, asked you to paint um, I don't know his dog image and he will provide you with the image um, he or she took using even his or her um, mobile device camera and if your client will ask you, oh, what image you would like to work uh, with? Uh, do you have any requirements or something like that? Always say, yes, I have requirements. Never trust your client. <laughs> because last time um, I worked on some painting and she said, I have a, a nice image of my puppy and I want you to paint it. Um, do you have any requirements or do you want to look before you I will send you for approval my image I said no I'm good I don't know why I said yes I'm good I don't need to see send me anything you like and she sent me the image was I, I had no uh, problem to paint it but the final result was it's like without wow factor because she sent her puppy on top of a um, doormat with all uh, stuff like gardening stuff and everything. Oh, a lot of clutter. Yes, know, everything. Yeah. And you can clean it up. You can uh, exchange everything, but it's uh, extra time and extra time costs money. So 
always be sure that your client will send to you uh, the right image. Definitely. Uh, Profil asks uh, what the current configuration of your laptop is. Like, is it, does it have a large um, like RAM or? Yes, definitely. Yeah, because for, I'm for big projects. Like yes, this. because I'm working on a 3D project. I'm uh, working on painting, illustrator, uh, uh, dimension. I sometimes I have two or three applications uh, opened in same time and I'm jumping between few of them. Yeah, it's important. And my main machine is iMac. I use a MacBook, MacBook, Pro, MacBook Pro only on the road. Mm -hmm. And will you be posting this alien to Behance? Absolutely. <laughs> I love Behance, guys. I update, uh, updating Behance uh, uh, more often than my website. I love Behance. <laughs> Behance, uh, great, uh, a great community. Um, I love Behance. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who just joined, uh, Victoria Pavlov here is working on uh, our Hi. friendly alien named Jeff. Friendly. She's friendly. <laughs> friendly alien. Um, she's doing uh, digital painting in Photoshop. And tomorrow, guys, we will create something autumn related, but we will. Aliens are autumn related. Autumn? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> they are. Halloween. Yes. yes. We will create um, something um, using the curvature pen tool. Mm -hmm. And you will be impressed how much uh, uh, one tool can do. Sarah asks, uh, what's the best way to find clients looking for painting work? How have you found your clients? Uh, from uh, Behance, really? definitely from yeah. Behance, right? Because all um, agencies uh, own Behance around the world. Mm -hmm. And if you will upload um, uh, every day, even a small project, but every day you will bring your client's attention. Also Instagram, but Instagram is very difficult. Yeah, it's, there's so many people on it, and I think the algorithm makes it yeah. challenging to find and folks. And Facebook is out of question. Yeah. Definitely. Also, your community. Your community, local community, yeah. is very important. Yeah, so, so start asking around, network, go to... Yes. Um, net, network, uh, your um, neighbors, your friends. Yeah. I know folks who even might reach out to companies who you might suggest like, hey, I think you need or might utilize painting um, in your company in some regard. You know, some businesses really like that and haven't even considered using yes. a certain design work or illustration work and that you could make your own work that way. Absolutely. Also, I know some art artists, um, they have agency they work with agencies, and your agent will represent you with a um, uh, corporate job. So yeah. they can hire you as freelancer for some project. And if company will love what you do, they will hire you all the time. And most importantly, your portfolio, of course. Mm -hmm. And don't try to please uh, all the time. Example, we all have our own vision. And if you will ask, if you will try to uh, please everyone around you with your art, uh, it will be not the right thing to do because mm -hmm. usually companies and um, your future uh, client, potential clients, they uh, uh, will hire you for your vision for your style. Yeah. There have been a few more questions about the, the pen that you're using, and you are using a Wacom Intuos tablet. Yes. So uh, maybe you can hold it up for a second just to yes. let people know. 
because it's mysterious finding the <laughs> tablet. So it's just a, a regular Intuos yeah. tablet. You plug it into your laptop yeah. and you basically look at the screen while you're drawing. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this, um, my um, Wacom is very old, as you can see. It's mm -hmm. about nine years and I love it. No That's issues. Great. Yeah. And now, guys, you can buy a uh, Wacom on Amazon for $75. Yeah, they're very inexpensive yeah. and they, they last a long time. Yes, and the customer service is great. Yes, Wacom's a great company. Yeah. So as you can see, guys, um, uh, basically uh, blending uh, everything together and because um, I'm working with the mixer brush tool I um, along with blending everything I'm creating some uh, texture mm -hmm. also you can blend everything uh, using another uh, technique example if you would like to blend these two colors you need to switch to your uh, brush tool your um, any brush you are more comfortable with, even with a soft round, default Photoshop a brush. This brush is very boring, but sometimes very helpful. <laughs> so what you can do? First of all, you need to bl uh, bring down opacity of your brush. Yes, in this uh, case, opacity of your brush, about 37, 38. And now you can just switch between um, eyedropper uh, tool, pick color example from this a uh, part of your uh, image and continue just like this. But it's not working in this way for some reason. So basically you need to use the same color and blend everything together. In this case you will have your um, uh, very nice uh, transition between uh, multiple colors, but you need a lot of patience uh, working with this method of blending. So it's up to you. Some people, some artists all love this um, blending technique. I don't, I'm <laughs> not a big fan. Uh, Pravo asks a like business question. Um, how do you decide what to charge for your client projects? I mean, that's heavily dependent on the client and, and the project, right? Yes, it depends of, um, if we will talk strictly about a uh, business perspective, if you are a business owner, uh, each project, um, you supposed to include in your project um, cost of your electricity, cost of your computer, cost of your application, cost of your time, cost of your monthly payment for your office. If you work from home from your for your electricity, you need to divide everything about 10% and you will charge your client. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. You have to be a, a business lot. person and yeah. an artist. Also, um, personally, I always, um, give discount to my uh, customers and I always uh, partiate if, if example if someone will refer uh, my service to someone and that person will place order for my service I'm always give 20 percent of my profit to person who refer me mm -hmm. so a referral is a very important And again, many artists work with agencies and in that case, they don't need to be worried about anything like what they need to charge or anything like that. They just work. But you need to give some percentage from your profit to your agent. Keep it in mind. And we have less than five minutes left to get those daily creative challenges in. So get those in, guys. Time flies. It really does. In the Adobe Live Studio, <laughs> it is. <laughs> And again, guys, I finish my event uh, from my uh, hotel room and I will show to you everything tomorrow, my progress tomorrow. Thank you. 
and again guys you can blend uh, more or less it's up to you oh another question about business um do you charge per project or hourly per project usually uh, but uh, my project uh, include my hour time example if somebody will um uh, send me, um, will ask me to paint, example, their dog. And uh, this dog is uh, small and doesn't have a lot of details, like, I don't know, a lot of hair or something. I will spend less time, so I will charge less. Mm And the best practice, if you work on your project more than two, three hours, just leave everything as it is, go take a cup of coffee or something like that, and mm -hmm. come back to your project. Get a fresh set yeah. of eyes on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of conversation about uh, rates now, you know, charging for it's your work. It's important. It's important, and I think everyone has uh, different different methods of doing it. Yeah, any uh, any method uh, which is uh, working for you, mm -hmm. great. Got less than one minute to get those submissions in. Do it, guys. Jeff is looking good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I will show to you guys the final result, the final painting. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're ready to take a look at today's design challenge submissions. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one is from Nicole S. And just to re reiterate, so the design challenge for today was to create a collage using masks and layers and um, different colors. Um, so this one's great. I, it's great. Yeah, I love the use of like that, that mountain in the foreground and having the, the camera as this focal point. It's great. Really lovely. One thing I would like uh, you to add, it's a little bit shadow under the camera. Mm, yeah. Only just this little detail. Mm -hmm. I, I love this image too. It's a yeah. great image. Something, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but the uh, center point, uh, the lens of the camera actually matches with the background. Yes. Which is, is really lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next one. Um, Kitty. Yeah, these are from day one, so check out the day two ones. Um, so the next one is from Jay Lewis, using some Adobe stock. 
I love Adobe Stock. Yeah, this one's great. Um, great. I love the, the eyeball and yeah. this like moon satellite in the background. It's beautiful, beautiful yeah. work. Yeah. Very artistic. Mm -hmm. You have any suggestions for this one? No. I'm good. Yeah, this one's, one. this one's good. I, I like that this eye is looking yes. at the moon too. Great use yes. of like direction uh -huh. in the image as well. Next one is from Ralph. This is very spooky. Yes. Very Halloween. Beautiful. It is kind of, the colors in the foreground kind of remind me of Dune, the book, yes. you know. Great um, submissions, guys. Yeah, really good stuff. I love the cat, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Camilo. Oh, Ooh, super cool. Very space space themed. Reminds me of Blade Runner or yes. something like cyberpunk. I uh, love perspective. Yeah. Great use of the signage too. I think uh, something I might add because you have all these neon signs is like a soft glow to, yes. to some of those those images. But otherwise it's it's great. The colors are really, really cohesive. Yes. Great, great image. Oh, he has a second one, too. <laughs> oh, this one's cool, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Love the hands. And yes. again, like, you guys using these eyeballs, it's, like, spooky, but done really well. It's oh, great, man, great thing. Yeah. This is from Gerard. Oh, I Ooh. love it. Yeah. Lighthouse, love lighthouse it. to space. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like the changing the colors of the mm. moon, and um, that adds a really, really nice focal yes. point next to the lighthouse. A lot of um, um, pop-up colors mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. This is from Shahid. Reminds me of an album cover. Oh. Be like a diamond, precious and rare. Very, very nice. Yeah, great use of type. Um, really like makes the collage mm -hmm. cohesive and feel like you know like the finalized project like for an album cover or something yes and i love these legs sticking yes. out the <laughs> very nice that's great and the use of diamonds yes. over the eyes as well and i love type and everything yeah yeah great work so this is from lucy in the sky Let's jump in your fear. <laughs> really Let's spooky. do it. Yeah. Great image as well. Yeah, I love the way the moon has been used, mm -hmm. like copied and pasted over, and some transparency has been created too to give the sense of like bubbles or yes. glow in space and mm -hmm. over the eye as well. That's good. Mm -hmm. Good Guys, stuff. Guys, you are good. You are all really, really good. Yes. This is from Ant. That's I really nice. Like the whale, yeah. That's and nice. An unexpected twist. Really unexpected. Yeah, like the idea of like this desert with with the water yeah. underneath. Um, I want to visit all of these worlds. <laughs> really lovely. Take me with you. Yeah. <laughs> this is from er, your boy Steve. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I like the bear coming out of the background. Oh my god, all equipment. <laughs> yeah, this looks like cool. some kind of like poisonous landscape where all the the electronics are going. <laughs> Nightmare. Some, someone's person. visiting. Someone's visiting. It's good. Out. It's very good. What's this bear doing? Is he going for the electronics? Yeah. Mutant bear. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is from MB Snowman. Hmm. That's cool. Good stuff. I mean, this looks like a like a poster for yes. you know, like a national park or something. Yeah. Um, I love the color overlay on the bird and the skull. Mm hmm And the use of repetition with the tennis balls for eyes. Yes. That's great. And I don't know what the texture is in the background here, but I really like it. it Me it's too. Reminiscent of like snake scales, but I don't think it is. Looks like some fabric texture. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And I love the use of type that you guys are are bringing in. Yep. Oh, this is the before and after from Lucy in the Sky. 
I love seeing all the stock images too. Wow. I like seeing how um, those are all brought together. Really, really cool, impressive work. Yeah. And this is a Van Damme designer. Mm. Oh, this is cool. That's cool. Little islands. Yes. I like these little cube worlds. I wonder how he did it. If he brought like a shape in or erased these areas. Mm -hmm. It's done very, very well. And masking all the details. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Really nice. 10 years old. Are you 10 years old? <laughs> Can we show this? <laughs> wow. This is from Araliha. Oh, this is, yeah, this wow. is totally different. I love the use of plants on oh, like, creating like it. new fashion, uh -huh. plant fashion, eco fashion. Yes. Very fresh and very, very fresh. unique idea. Yeah. I love, this is, this is done very well. Yeah. It looks really cohesive. That's cool. Yeah. And it looks like shadows in the background mm -hmm. too. Very, very nice work. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <laughs> a good collage, yes. That's adorable. Kitty observing. Yes, that's cool. It's done well. Like, that cat yes. looks like it's actually sitting there. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you added some shadow down there. Yeah, but it's nice. It's really nice. And this is by the Lee designer. Another collage. I like the gems. Yes. And the peacock. It's very cohesive. I love it a lot, but uh, one small suggestion. If you will add um, a text um, mm -hmm. a little bit in other color, yeah, just to pop up a little bit more, because your text right now a little bit uh, blends with your background. Mm -hmm. Image is great, but just a little detail. Great. It looks like there's some questions about the Discord, and um, I think Val can direct you to how to how to get into the Discord channel for the next creative challenge. Um, this is the last one from R3B3L Soul. Wow. It's the Illuminati, like yes. eye pyramid in space. That's it. really cool. Yeah, these uses of space textures and clouds and mountains, yeah. it creates this really unique landscape mm -hmm. that, um, you know, the colors feel like very disparate, but I think together they're really complementary because yeah. you have that orange against the blue and that yellow against the purple. So it's it really, mood. really good. I love it. Mm -hmm. Great, great work. Yeah. And there's one last one from Nasi Talka, sorry if I'm botching your names. So oh. you that. Great use of colors. Yes. Colors. And like we had mentioned, somebody else uh, maybe adding glow. Mm -hmm. Use of glow in and here. Perspective mm -hmm. of the building. Nice perspective. Yeah, yeah. very, very light. unique. Right. Yeah. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it a lot. Yeah, great work, everyone. So these are all the submissions we had today. Yes. So really good stuff. So, and I think there's another creative challenge um, coming later today as well. So there's gonna be more opportunities to, to work and show off your work later today. Yeah. So shall we finish up this alien? Yes, I'm finishing up this alien. Um, I will be not able to finish everything now, but what I will do, I will uh, switch to my mixer brush tool again. I will increase size of my brush just like this and I will blend everything. Guys, I'm not using the smudge tool at this time because I want to create some texture. So what I will do, I will just like this. I will blend everything together because after that I will start applying a few uh, last details to my alien just to make him more pop up. And I will add alien uh, shape mm -hmm. to it. Like somebody asked, suggested. I think blending out the, that texture really makes it feel like space. Yes. 
And after that, we can add a few more um, stars using uh, any brush. And again, Kyle Webster has a, um, a lot of um, great special effects brushes. Mm -hmm. You can download, and I, if I'm not uh, mistaken, this package uh, named as special effect brushes. And the best part, if you will download your brushes, you don't need to do anything. You just double click on your folder. And even if you Photoshop opened uh, brushes, um, you don't need to do anything. Just double click and everything will be in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It's easy. And sometimes if you will start uh, working with brushes and you will apply some brush stroke and you will see nothing, uh, don't be frustrated. Just uh, check a blend mode for your brush. Just switch to normal and you will be ready to go. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if you all have any more questions, please let us know. We have about a little less than 15 minutes left in the stream today. Flew by so fast. Yes. Now I'm happy with my background. Before I will start um, continue working on my alien, and I'm not sure if I will like uh, what I will do. I will duplicate my layer one more time mm -hmm. just to be in a safe mode i will zoom in my document just like that i will switch to my mixer brush tool bring size of my brush down and i will start outlining how we named him Uh, Fatima asks, uh, where to download the brushes again? So maybe you could show. Yes, if how to you do that. absolutely, if you will open your brushes uh, panel, you will click on a top icon, accordion icon, just like this. And here you will see uh, import brushes. Mm -hmm. No, um, get, get more, more brushes. brushes. Yeah. You will click on get more brushes, and you will be redirected to Adobe website. Uh, big, probably something wrong with my connection. But Just basically, yeah, yeah. Uh, you will see in a few seconds. Yeah, there you go. You will see Kyle Webster's brushes. Click on any package you like. I will recommend to click on all of them. Yeah. Download so them and you are ready you to start go. playing. Yeah, there's yeah. so many to choose from and you can play with them all and get totally different effects from, yes. from each one. Yeah. And if you like, you can customize them. Mm -hmm. You can, um, what I do when I love uh, some of um, his brushes and I'm sure I will use this brush over and over, I will save this brush to uh, some subfolder and mm -hmm. I will name it my favorite watercolor brush. Mm -hmm. Because now in Photoshop we have great brush presets organization. We can organize our brushes, uh, panel uh, folders. We can organize our brushes by folders and subfolders now. We can rename our folders. We can use them. We can um, adjust them. We can adjust brushes, add to uh, our folders, or delete from our folders. Mm -hmm. Glenn asks about removing the sketch lines to see the image, and I think you've actually incorporated the yes. sketch lines into the image, so yes. that's, that's actually a part of the painting itself now. Yes, because I'm using the mixer brush tool, I'm blending everything together. Mm -hmm. I have choice just to delete my sketch layer and I just add um, all lines using my brush, but why? It's double work if I have already my sketch ready. Mm -hmm. You can change blend mode, mode for your uh, sketch layer, and you can uh, have different effect. Less or more visible sketch uh, layer, sketch uh, lines. It's up to you. Ashley asks, what size file do you start with for your paintings? Uh, usual big, uh, big one, mm -hmm. like, um, 
let me open. If I will click on you, you will see that usually it's 8,256 by 5. That's very big. Yeah. 300 DPI? Yeah. Yep. Because uh, you probably or your client will want to print it out. Mm -hmm. You can size it down uh, later on, but um, usually it's a good uh, way to paint a um, big size. And I will blend this side. After I will finish everything and I will be happy with um, all details and everything, tomorrow I will show to you guys how you can add um, a light contrast to your uh, image. So we will use a simple uh, layer uh, or adjustment layer and we will add some contrast to our uh, painting. Mm -hmm. And if you um, made any mistake, don't uh, be scared, don't be upset. You can fix anything in Photoshop. Yeah. You can always come in, Z. Yeah. All the time. And I work on separate layers. Uh, sometimes I prefer, uh, I, um, example, if I work on um, yellow color and I need to add a green color, I will use separate layer because I can adjust, uh, I have full control over my brush stroke. Mm -hmm. If you want to blend your colors without having this halo, just make your brush uh, size uh, smaller and just push color mm -hmm. inside, just like this. And you will illuminate this halo around your painting. And you could, you could even use the mixer brush and like the collages that you all are making. Yes. Create painterly effects uh -huh. in your, your collages. Yes. Mixer brush is amazing tool, an underestimated tool, yes, underappreciated definitely. tool. Even if you never painted before, if you will use a mixer brush tool, you will create um, unique and beautiful art. Mm -hmm. And when I'm saying art, I mean it. It will be art. It will be not just painting effect. You Basically, you're applying painting effect, but you are creating your art. Mm -hmm. If you will spend more time, no one will know that you used your photo as a base layer. Mm -hmm. Just don't miss any uh, pixels in your uh, image. Paint pixel by pixel using smaller size of your brush. If you will zoom in your brush, make your a brush size. Um, if you will zoom in your document, use a small, smaller size of your brush. If you will uh, zoom out your image, use a bigger size of your brush. Your brush of your size will affect um, of uh, your painting style. Smaller brush will create more realistic painting. Bigger size of your brush will create more uh, impressionist uh, painting. Mm -hmm. Julio asks, uh, do you blend the sketch edge so later it gives more of a realistic look rather than a cartoon look? Or do you like the sketch edges uh, showing? I, I don't like a sketch um, edges showing a lot. I I love blend them together, not because I don't like cartoon painting. Sometimes I use this style of painting, but uh, I prefer if I would like to add some um, obvious uh, line outside of my painting, I will use my brush tool. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Kyle Webster has a lot of um, brushes uh, specifically for your cartoon painting, for your um, a Marvel or DC painting, uh, he released a lot of brushes. I 
I will make my brush size smaller now and I will just clean up edges of his eyes just like that. If you would like to add a more uh, effect to your painting, smooth everything in um, more uh, oil uh, paint style, uh, and you never painted before, example, you can add oil filter um, painting. Just go to filter, oil paint, click on it, and here you have um, uh, all sliders, four sliders, you can customize to apply some specific uh, paint, a uh, specific style. So everything is up to you. Again, you can apply uh, from um, Leonardo da Vinci style to Van Gogh style. Mm -hmm. And one advice, be very careful with a lighting uh, workspace because um, lighting workspace will affect to your uh, lighting. And uh, you can create something in a very, um, um, just Ooh. like fresco yeah or you can see or you can create something in more elegant way everything mm -hmm. is up to you so you can uh, uh, start with a uh, sketch we just started with you guys and you can finish with oil paint filter it's up to you if you will use oil f uh, filter um, you will apply more smooth um, transition between all colors and everything like that and again guys it's up to you mm -hmm. Personally, I'm uh, not always using um, oil filter, very rare, but mm -hmm. I have fun with this filter, very nice filter. We only have a couple minutes left. Yes, guys, only a oh. couple. It's amazing how much you've been able to develop this painting in less than two hours. So thank you. It's been great to watch. Thank you. And thank you, Val, for being our amazing chat moderator. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you. Absolutely. I will increase size of my brush and I will blend this yellow color more. Just like this. Victoria, do you have any final thoughts while, while we wrap up? Final thoughts, guys. Super appreciated your time today. And just start uh, creating, start um, your uh, painting journey if you have any questions we are here yes and we'll be back tomorrow with even yes. more illustration techniques in photoshop um, and we have more coming later today and right after this so if we could bring the schedule up one more time um, we can take a look at what's happening so right after this we have the adobe xd daily creative challenge with andrea and after that we have the uh, xd design systems at 12 p.m Pacific cool. with Christine. So some good stuff in XD. Yes. XD so we hope you enjoy cool. that and stick around for that. Thank you guys. Yes, and thank you so much. Thank you for so, having me. Yes. Thank you everyone. Thank you guys. Stick around.